Happy Fourth of July, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Stephanie, who is encouraging me to make better videos, uh, animations, and different cuts and stuff like that. So this is my first attempt. Hope you guys enjoy. What I'm going to talk about today is going to be the anatomy of a camera. How the light actually enters the camera, how it hits your eye, how it hits the sensor, where the sensor is, where the shutter is, and where the aperture is. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I hope you guys enjoy. So what we're looking at here is a standard DSLR camera, and this is the cross-section of that camera. Light is going to enter in through the lens, so from the left to the right, it's going to pass through the aperture ring. What you can see on the inside of this lens are the aperture blades. The more blades you have, the softer your out-of-focus area is, also known as the bokeh. The wider it is open, the more light it lets in, and the smaller the opening, the less light it lets in. After it passes through the aperture ring, it's going to hit the mirror. And the mirror is in the way of the sensor and the shutter, which is highlighted in red and green. So this is the mirror right here, and behind it is the shutter. So that mirror will have to get out of the way whenever you take a photo. After that, it's going to bounce up into the prism. It's going to be knocked around a little bit in there until it comes back out through the rear uh, viewfinder. All right. So when you actually go to take the photo, the mirror is going to raise up out of the way first. Then after that, the shutter is going to move up as well so that the light can go straight through the lens and hit the sensor. All right, what I'm going to show you now is the sensor. So when you hit the shutter button, the mirror moves out of the way, and then that shutter in the back moves out of the way. And now we can see the sensor, which normally looks just like a green panel. There are two ways to control how much light comes into the camera. Now next week we're going to talk about the artistic value of these, uh, but today we're just going to focus on how light is controlled when it comes into the camera. The first is through the aperture ring, and that's how wide or small. So as you can see, when you, sh when you close down the aperture ring, you're going to let less light in. And when you open it back up, you can let more light in. The other way is through the shutter. The shutter can raise and lower. And that right there was a two second shutter. The next one we're going to look at is a half second shutter. So you can see it's a lot faster, it's going to let a lot less light in. So that concludes the anatomy of a camera. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, leave your comments in the section below. Subscribe, like, let me know this is working and that way I can continue making more videos. I really enjoy this and I hope you do too. So have a great 4th of July. Have fun. See you later.